Welcome to American Life 365. The biggest event of the week was the prisoner exchange, with Harris heading to the airport to welcome Americans freed from Russia back to the United States. Harris and Biden claimed they achieved great things from the exchange and always protected Americans. For Americans falsely accused in Russia, returning home is a good thing. However, I can't help but wonder which Russian prisoners the West, led by Biden, have released to Russia and which we have received from Russia. Let me see who was involved in this deal. Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich and former U.S. Marine Paul Whelan were welcomed back to the U.S. in a swap that included the release of 16 people previously detained in Russia in exchange for U.S., 8 people detained in Germany, Norway, Slovenia and Poland. ASU Kermesheva, a Russian-American journalist for the U.S.-funded Radio Free Europe slash Radio Liberty, was arrested in Russia in 2023, as was Russian-American dissident Vladimir Karamur. Vladimir Karamurza Mirza Mirza, was also released from Russia. Russia detained 16 innocent Americans and Russian dissidents in exchange for eight Russian felons. Here are three of the eight Russian felons released to Russia. Russian businessman Vladislav Klyashin was sentenced to nine years in prison last year for his role in a hacking scheme involving the theft of information from a U.S. computer network trading company. Profits were approximately 93 million U.S. dollars. He was also ordered to pay more than $34 million in fees and additional restitution. Klyashin hacked into U.S. computer networks, obtained confidential company information, and used this information to illegally make money in the U.S. stock market. He could get away with it by committing his crimes from foreign bases, hidden behind layers of fake domain names, virtual private networks and computer servers rented under false names and paid for in cryptocurrency. Roman Seleznev, the son of a Russian congressman, was sentenced to 27 years in prison in 2017 for a massive hacking scheme that targeted point-of-sale systems to steal credit card information, costing Americans $169 million. The sentence handed down by a federal court in Washington state is the longest sentence ever imposed in the United States for a hacking crime. From 2009 to 2013, Seleznev targeted several small businesses in Washington. Seleznev hacked into point-of-sale systems and stole credit card numbers, which he then illegally sold online. These credit card numbers were then used for fraudulent purchases. Seleznev was released under pressure from Biden. Russian killer Vadim Krasikov, 58, a former FSB colonel currently serving a life sentence in a German prison, is at the top of a list of Russian prisoners Moscow wants to exchange. Sentenced to life in prison in 2021 for the assassination of a Chechen-Georgian dissident in a Berlin park. Krasikov was released by Germany under pressure from Biden to protect German nationals and express solidarity with the United States. Russian President Vladimir Putin previously hinted in an interview with Tucker Carlson in February that he might want to trade Krasikov for Gershkovic's release. Their brutal ordeal is over. They are free, President Joe Biden said Thursday in remarks at the White House. Really? The brutal ordeal of these three innocent Americans has ended, but another nightmare is unfolding for many more Americans. This prisoner exchange is essentially a license from the Biden regime to Russia or other countries to do whatever they want to harm or kill Americans anywhere in the world, and if caught, their country can kidnap any innocent American, in exchange for the criminal who committed the crime. Biden's deal with Iran paid a hefty ransom of $6 billion in exchange for the release of five hostages. I don't know how much it cost American taxpayers to exchange Biden's prisoners this time. As Pompeo said, Biden is very wrong and dangerous. The power of the United States should be used to force those who harm Americans to give up the idea of harming Americans and kidnapping Americans. Trump and Pompeo once succeeded in getting North Korea to release three hostages without spending a penny. The brutal ordeal of these three innocent Americans has ended, but another nightmare is unfolding for many more Americans. That's today's political commentary. If you like our videos please subscribe, like and share. Thanks.